right, guys, welcome back to another GM Golf Sunday match. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. We are still down here in Dallas, Texas, out here at El Dorado Country Club. We have Tig over here in the background. We have the agent manager, Joe himself. Should I say who's gonna win this one? Who's gonna win? My money's on Garrett today. Oh, I wonder when it has not been on me. This would be a back-to-back. -back. Garrett won last week. He has honors. He's going to be kicking us off. We just got word that this is a pretty short course, and it's all about accuracy. So if I'm going to beat you, I'm going to have to play really well. So. Garrett takes it right up the left center. And that might be a little bit long, to be honest. Hey, th thanks, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Appreciate you. One of the worst shots I've ever seen. Thanks, Steven. And you hit it far. Thank you, Steven. I didn't really explain what this hole does, but it is a dog leg right par four. All right, here we go. Take it with two iron. Ooh. Get under the tree. Get under it. Yes! It, it got under it, but he's gonna be blocked out by another tree. Not an ideal start for Tig. He did hit it pretty good, but this is where he's balling it up, just right of the fairway. This is kind of what he's looking at. He's got a tree in his way. He's got to get under these limbs. It's got a 52 degree here. I'm gonna try to play it to the front of the green. I'm gonna hit just kind of a knockdown 52. I shouldn't have to worry about the tree. That's gonna be just short of the green, but you hit that good. Garrett has the advantage. It's about 118 yards to the center. Probably gonna be hitting a 52. Going just a little left of the pin. As you can see there, I think it's pin high, maybe a little oh. bit long, if anything. But guys, this is the first time we've ever played this course, El Dorado Country Club. One thing the head pro did say is be in the fairways because it's really narrow. So, actually, is key today. I don't know what I was thinking. 118 yards. I thought the wind was going to affect it a little bit more than it did. But holy crap! Remember what I said? These greens are small. Our size of a nickel. So you got to hit a dime. <laughs> Today's challenge is going to be quite an interesting video because look at how small these greens are. My ball is right here. I did chip in a few times yesterday, so hopefully I can do that again. He still has about 30 yards here, guys. He needs to dial it up in here. And that is not going to be ideal right there. I got my chips get up and down for par, but I think I'm going to make it. Garrett has this chip. If he chips this in, he gets one up, one up lead to start off this match. So I want to at least get this up and down. I got my chips get up and down for par, but I think I'm going to make it. quick change of events on this first hole not really sure what just happened there i was into the green and i guess the club got caught by the grass but typically i lose the first hole and when i do that i win so that one's gonna miss a little bogey there now garrett has this puck to tie the hole gonna slide over the hole i want to mention this i started with a one-up lead last sunday and then garrett beat me seven and three so he just turned it on so i just have to stay dialed because we're one hole in that was quite the interesting start double bogey from the middle of the fairway is not what you love to see but at the end of the day stuff like that happens and it's golf you chunk a chip you three putt it's whatever we are on to a par five here super tight hole again dog leg right i have 56 and it's literally 10 yards wide i feel like there's gonna be a lot of two iron for me today gonna be pretty good probably gonna get over ah uh, could be good Ooh, Looks, I think that's good I saw it bounce in the right rough to be honest but man it feels good to get that tee shot out of the way guys get going with three wood I like this play stay right there that's fine Guys, it bounced off the wall. He's I, in play. It got lucky to stay in bounds, which is crazy, but I got a shot. I'm happy about it. I just hit it way too far left. I probably should hit like four iron on this hole, to be honest. Um, I found my ball just over here in the left rough. It, it's not the worst spot. I think the play is to, I mean, do we lay up? Do we ever lay up, folks? I don't know if it's a smart play to go for it, but I got 230. I might go for it. I don't know. It would be fun to go for it, though, wouldn't it? Kind of, yeah. I'm just going to do it to see here. Yeah, just like that. And that's going to get down there well inside of 100, probably 60 or 70 yards left on that one. So here's where Tig's ball ended up. Really good position, to be honest. This is kind of what he's... Three wood, I feel like three wood's definitely not the play. You want to lay it to somewhere right in here 
which probably would have been about four iron. Jake's got about 240 to the pin, so what club you got? I have six. I'm not trying to go for it. I just want to be well short of it. That's going to be okay. I never saw it. I think it probably went out left. It's all the way over there. But Jake didn't think there was any water on this hole. For some reason, I was convinced there was, and I got lucky. I'm just short of the water. Thank God. He has a really good lie, too, right there, and those trees are not even going to be in play. And that set down really nicely. Probably has about eight to ten feet there for his birdie that was a pretty good shot i feel like i can honestly say on this hole i got the double bogey on the first hole kind of out of my mind so hopefully i can make birdie here here we go tig's ball just in play he actually has a gap folks he does have a gap right up through there let's see what he can do here and he did got it through the gap He's got to look at it. This is what I'm looking at for my birdie, folks. I'm going to knock this one in. These greens are super undulated. I feel like a lot of the courses we've been playing down here in Dallas have been extremely undulated. Kind of tough to read. I think putting around the greens is a strategy. I feel like there's not a ton of grass under the ball. And like if you're into the grain, especially with Bermuda, I would suggest putting it. And that's what I should have done on the first hole. If I would have done that, I would have made no worse than bogey. That, that died. Wow. It's all right, I got like seven feet for par. If Garrett misses this, I still have a chance to tie the hole and remain one up. For some reason I knew he was gonna do that. Good birdie. Stupid mistake on the first hole and then got one back on this next hole, which I definitely needed and I'm very happy I made birdie there. Match is back to all square. Let's see if we can keep it dialed in, make some more birdies and keep slaying the beast over here. All right guys, we've made it to our third hole and this is probably the tightest hole that I've ever seen in golf. Garrett has honors, obviously, after he made birdie on the last hole. Three, what is the play here? I feel like I almost need to aim left here, like at this left tree. This is just super tight. And that's just straight up the left side. He hit it dead straight. I hit it over here on the left side. I hit it pretty solid. Kind of right where I was aiming. It could have leaked into the fairway. We will see. We do have some fans watching our tee shot here, which makes it extremely nerve wracking. Let's see what Tig can do here. That is a little right of mine. It's actually gonna be pretty good. Huh? I think it's skirted past that tree. I think that's gonna be pretty good over there. We made it to our balls. We did hit it in the left side, but it's kind of like I was saying, the miss is left for sure, because you could easily go OB. This is Tig's ball right here, just in the left rough. We barely missed the fairway, to be honest. This uh, is the play. Like, you can't, with not playing this, you can't flirt with that side. He's got about 130, I got about 125 yards. Tig with 56 degree. I like the play. Do you see the wind, my guy? Hey, no, way. no, don't have an attitude. Do not have an attitude. Go look <laughs> at that plate. Look at that plate. I hit an easy 50. Look at that plate. Guys, that surprised me a little bit. I thought that was gonna be a little bit short, if anything, and then it drops like long of the green. Should've hit 56. What, you hit that good? Yeah. No, you chunked that. No. You hit that heavy. He definitely hit big ball first. No, no, no. I should have listened to my gut, not listened to Tig complain about the wrong yardage when it was actually right. Tig? I'm not complaining. It's just kind of baffled me. This is what I'm looking at. I actually landed right here, so I definitely, I definitely didn't land on the green. I think I'm going to chip that, to be honest. Garrett, just short of the green over here, like 15, 20 yards. So this is anyone's hole as of yet. Three holes in, guys, and the motions are kind of starting to rise. Things are heating up out here, so. Hi, Tig. What an adventure of a hole we've had. Tig long, eyes short. <laughs> what did I just say? That's pretty good. That might go in the hole. Yes! Blind squirrel even finds a nut every once in a while. Let's go. Okay, like I said, things are getting intense. 
scared so mad right now, and I love it. I, I, I love to see it. Good Thank putt. you, sir. Really good putt. Thank actually. you, sir. <laughs> We're on the hole four. What a crazy adventure of holes. We have not had a tie hole yet. And just to put it into perspective again, as to how tight this course is, guys, every hole is like this. You have to thread the needle off the tee, or you are screwed. Once again, I would rather lose on a birdie if I'm going to lose. All right, now TIG up with two iron after debating for a long period of time, teeing up a driver, uh, throwing the driver down, picking the two iron back up, and teeing up a two iron. So let's see what he can do here. You love to see it, folks. And he chunked it into the fairway. I hit that really good. TIG, you're telling me you hit that good. Okay, it was a little bit heavy, but after all that, I hit it really good. A little bit heavy, maybe just a, like a groove low. Too much debating. You don't want that in golf, to, to, to be honest. That was the miss, folks, if you're going to miss it. It's going to be probably, I think it probably got past this first group of, cheat, group of trees and it's going to be okay. I hit that really good. No, I actually did hit that in the center of the face. I just drew it when I wanted to fade it. Tig and I have been, honestly, off camera, we've been talking more trash than we have been on camera. It's what you love to see, folks. He's got 60 degree here, into the breeze, up the hill. He's got to dial this one up in there. A little left to right I breeze. It's... Pretty good shot there. I think it's a little bit short, but I really like it. This guy acts like I hit it 100 yards left. I hit it like a barely a draw into the left fairway. This is what I'm looking at, guys. And now he has a 60 degree as well. Uh, fly or lie, to be honest. Just inside of you. Okay, that released as you saw, but I think his is a little closer than mine. I'm gonna make it and he's not, so. Oh really, is that how that <laughs> yep. is gonna work? Just like the last one. Really? Yeah. Honestly, this Sunday match in particular has probably been one of the most fun because like off camera, we are messing with each other on another level. He's gonna give me a perfect line here because he's about three feet outside of my ball, just a little further away from the pin. We're looking down the hill, see what he can do. Oh, get there, get there. That's no gimme there. I had a line and I didn't commit to it. That's what happens. I wish you could I wish you guys could have seen this because he literally started walking that in. He had his putter up and everything, but I was zoomed in. I'm not gonna lie, that was really close. Like, I thought it was in. I mean, I, what? We're gonna make a lot of birdies in this match. I'm already telling it right now. Two birdies on the card, so let's keep it going. Oh, barely slipped it in there. It barely slips in when it goes right in the center, so that makes total sense. Good job, Garrett. Low par doesn't hurt nobody. A couple pars on hole four. On to hole five, one down. I gotta get a grip here, folks. I gotta get a grip. Tig has honors. This is the shot he was struggling with yesterday most. Uh, we have about 171 yards down the hill. A little downwind. Just look at how tight this course is, guys. Every single hole is like this. I don't think we're gonna catch a break where you can actually miss a shot and still be okay. Tig's got a little nine iron here. We'll see what he can do here. Timing is key. This right here, Bradley, you can put this in the intro right here with no sound. <laughs> just, just put it in there. Mm. <laughs> this match has been, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is probably some of the most fun I've had in a match in a while, so. He chunked it, but I think it's gonna get there. No, it's not. But he's got an easy chip now. I Dude. was just so scared of it. I couldn't commit to it. I might hit pitching wedge, to be honest. I've been struggling to, to like commit to shots, and bam, just like that. Guys, he's really going to have to get after a pitching wedge to get it there, because the pitching wedge gets higher up in the wind, and the wind's in the face, so. No. Didn't hit it hard enough. Just short. <laughs> Believe it or not, though, like, <laughs> I'm still way more confident in hitting that than I was 9-iron. I should have hit 9-iron take. I should have hit 9-iron. Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is where our balls ended up. Garrett struck his well, and he got to there, and I didn't strike mine well, and I got to there. So that's not like a roast. It was just like, could have been over there. I should have hit 9. See so if you can get these puppies up and down. Ever since that first chip shot on the first hole, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I've been extremely scared over the chips. That was such a terrible shot. Tig was almost going with putter because he doesn't want to chunk it as well.
it's scary. I'm just gonna be honest. It is scary. For some reason, chipping around these greens is not easy, guys. And now, not only am I long, but Tig is longer. Let's see what he can do here. Or his par. Oh, you got. Uh, that was lucky. That was so lucky. I'm not gonna lie. That that upsets me a little bit. Guys, this is the golf he came to see. This is. <laughs> Guys, yes. this is some clutchness. I yes. Oh, there you go. I mean, I have to give it to you. Good putt. Like, Thank you. Thank you. Under pressure. I'm currently one down still, but I needed that because if I would have gone two down, that would have not been good, and my chances would have slimmed down a lot. <laughs> Trying to have a fist fight? I'll throw hands any day of the week. You name a time and place. We'll do it on the green. I'm gonna start training to box you. We should do that. We're gonna box each other in six months. Whoa. Should we? Should we actually box each other? Dude, I don't know. Dude, that I'm gonna... Not, that would be unfair. Oh, you think it would be unfair to me? Yeah. I've done martial arts training. Once I train and like actually get fit, hey, 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 I got a chance. My wingspan is 10 times longer than you. 10 times? The, like <laughs> one, 10%. The best boxers are like 160 pounds, dude. I'm 165 pounds. Yeah, but they're tall. You're short. I'm quick. I, I don't think I really want to do that boxing thing because I probably might like actually get my face rearranged. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> 600 yard par five. 500. 600 yard par five. Into the wind, dog leg right. Takes got two iron again. He's scared. He's scared, guys. Look at how tight this course is, guys. It's unreal. Oh my, Tig, why do you do that? Absolute missile of a shot. See, that's huge. Just looking at this optically, it is just insane. Like, I love this course, I really do. And I just hit a little missile up the left, right side. Hopefully that can lead to a birdie. Probably, I probably hit it about 250, maybe 260. I hit it really well, so. This has been one of the most fun matches that we've played, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. That's okay, right? Yeah, I think it's fine. It looked like it got down pretty quick. Oh, it came back on the left, right side of the car path. Yeah, yeah. that's what I exactly what I meant to do. Sometimes <laughs> you have to hit it. Let's left. check his pulse right now. I'm it's fine. Really, it's fast. No, <laughs> you, you shut up. I was not even scared to hit that <laughs> shot. No, but honestly, I saw a little more room left, and I was like, we're aiming left, and I kind of hooked it. I'm going for the green. We'll see. Maybe not. I'm gonna get relief, which is gonna be like right in here. So technically, I can go for it, but just look at this. Like, what am I aiming at? Guys, I have a couple options. Tig says it's an impossible shot to go for. I don't know if he's trying to like force me to like a reverse reverse psychology. It's like the opposite opposite thing. No, I'm actually trying to save you here. He has 270 yards and he has to take it right over that little popping out there that looks like Matt's hair. Why do I really want to go for it though, Tig? Hey, you do you, man. All right, I'll lay up and then I'm going to hit a second one for fun. Just trying to get it. Yeah, right there. All right, now we're gonna do something. This is what we like to call a... Garrett's trying to go for it. Something. This does not count unless I hit it in the hole. Deal? No. If I make it, it counts? Sure. Okay. That's in that bunker or left of it. Perfect though. Actually, that's probably a little long. Right. Hit one in the fairway, hit a second one. Chips get up and down for birdie. Which one do you guys want? That's the question. I don't think anybody in their, in their right mind would have tried to go for that. Maybe. I would have. All right, Tig is not going for it. Tig has eight iron here in the right side of the fairway. He's gonna try and lay it up. His aiming point is like right over there. The fact that we have not lost a ball today is quite impressive. Oh, that needs to Pull it, but that's gonna be okay over there. Yeah, hopefully I... Can... Into the backyard. No, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. in play. Tig, it's in play. Your eyesight needs check. Get in the car. Is it actually in play? Dude, it is in the rough. All right, so this is where Tig's balling it up. Not in the backyard like he thought it was. Quite far away. <laughs> it's 100, though. That's pretty surprising. He has about just inside of 100. That wind is so hot. That's so short. Ah. 
and that is just on the front side of the green. That actually might have rolled back. A TIG with 56 degree. I like to play, to be honest. It's kind of a flyer lie. It is not kind of a flyer lie. This ball is going to make no contact with the face of this club. Here we go. TIG with 56. Oh, whoa. Oh. That, see, that is just insane. Like, I chipped that. And you, you can see it came out and it just like no spin. Not ideal. Not ideal, folks. Walking up to the green here on this par five, that is the power of hitting the fairway out here, guys. This rough is kind of crazy. He's just long in the green and he's got this to get up and down for his par. Stay on the green. Stay on the green. Oh no. Oh no. Well guys, we've had a couple different situations in today's match where one of us is kind of blown up around the green. Me on the first hole, TIG here. <clears throat> That's gotta go. That's gonna be for his boger. Big opportunity here. I really, really let my guard down on that one. Dang. Actually, I thought it was gonna be way slower than it was. Here we go. TIG for his bogey. Let's see if he can knock it in. I just got a two putt from here to win the hole. All right, so what a crazy hole. Honestly, probably one of the craziest, tightest holes I've played in the history of my golf game. The match is now back to all square, guys. This is a tight match to say the least. Onto a really tough par three, a little right to left wind, into the wind, see if I can make a birdie here. And this is what I'm looking at. It feels like it's straight into the wind. It's 175 to the center, exactly 160 to the front. Garrett hitting seven iron. I think that's pin high. It might be a little short. Maybe a little short left. I'm honestly happy with that. I was scared of that shot just a little bit, and that's just being honest. Tempo was key on that shot, and I'm happy with it. Tig with four iron. Seven, but that's okay. You're, you're close. <laughs> four plus three equals seven, and that is the club Tig hat. That's looking pretty good. Looks like it's going to be right by me, guys. Right by me, guys. Not short. That was close to the hosel. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Walking up to the green here. Pressure was on. Tig showed up. He had a good shot. We're in here. We're putting down the hill. And we got our birdie looks. Let's see what Tig can do. He is out. <laughs> Tig, I don't know. You might need to move that pin a little further away. <laughs> I'll definitely need to move it for your putt. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to simmer if it doesn't hit the hole. That's got to sit hardcore, guys. That's what I'm talking about, about these greens. That is no gimme there. It was tracking for a second. It's kind of unfortunate. Garrett has this now to win the hole after seven, so. I got yeah, scared I of it. And if there's any place that I wouldn't want to leave a putt, it's right there because that putt has a lot of break in it. Mine just was not as fast as Tig's was. Oh, no. It broke. it broke after the coming. Not good, not good. Very unfortunate. Garrett has this putt to win the hole. Well, you suck. Thank you. That was a pretty clutch par. Here we it's go, not baby. over yet. It's not over till it's over. On to hole eight, which is a par four. I'm currently one up. Gotta stay mentally dialed in, mentally focused. Just win this hole, hopefully. I've got the trusty two iron. Garrett is hitting three wood, and honestly, he's going driver. Guys, you have about 20 yards to miss on the left or right. Um, of the fairway. This is what it's looking at. It seems like it's pretty straight away. I think it just kind of goes up and maybe a little bit to the left. Let's see what he's made of right here. Guys, and he he hit that so far right, but it was like a big draw, so I think it's going to be okay. See, I was playing the wind for a draw. What are you talking about, bro? You pushed that so hard. Dude. Look at where my feet are aiming. I will watch the camera right now with you. I will watch a replay. You push that. Guys, I honestly hit that one pretty perfect. That's going to be pretty good. He got really lucky there after hooking it. Actually, maybe not. It could be left. You got to play the win, bro. All right, so mine looks to be in play right over here. I may have hit it a little more right than I wanted to, that's for sure. This is a terrible lie. Whew. I <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie. I barely stay in play. Yeah, but you got lucky once again. Everybody knows that you blocked that. Bradley, real quick, show the feet line where they're going. 
at the right pin. Tig's my cousin, by the way, just so you guys know. I know a lot of people have been commenting about that because I said that in Kyle's video. I think I have about 80 yards. I'm gonna try and land this on the green. What? Guys, and you saw that. That is way short of the green. I just didn't have the right yardage, okay. guys. I hit that right at the pin. I like my heart was beating because I thought that was gonna be super close. I hit that so good. Are you are you mad, bro? I knew that was way short when you hit it. Take with another flyer lie over here on the left side. That's what I'm looking at, honestly. It was short, but dang. I'm just hitting a little P wedge because I'm not flirting with anything. I'm just gonna try to run it up. Alright, run it up. The rough is super hard to gauge out here today. That is short, but that's pretty good, honestly. Sometimes you gotta play it safe, because if you catch one of these flyer lies out here, it can be gone, and that's what I was scared of, because like, if I hit it over the green, in the road. He grabbed his, his 56 degree, and I'm really surprised, because he's kind of been duffing chips all day, so that is an absolute power move. I'd like you to go with putter, and I, I commend him for this. Not too bad, but he did leave it like six or seven feet short, so. About seven tigs short. Let's see if I can hopefully knock this in. Not quite in there quite yet for a par, but that's a good putt. All right, guys, we're almost in the same situation that we were on the last hole. That's tough. That's a pretty disappointing bogey to make. Could be all square going into the last hole. And we are all square going into the last hole. What a crazy match this has been. Hey, good job, good job. Hey, good hole. Good hole. Nice job. All square on the last hole. What a match this has been. Filled with trash talk and crazy ups and downs. It's 400 yard, par four, TIG has honors. It all comes down to this. Currently at 15. To 10. This is match number 26, and out of every match, I think this is by far my favorite. Uh, just because of how close the competition, the trash talk, the intensity. It has been very intense, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I wanna beat you so bad that you wanna quit golf. Now, he's even taking my lines, guys. Somebody roast him for that right now. That's You took that from JT, by the way. No, I made it up. No, you took he it took from it. Justin What Tom. if Justin Thomas took it from me? All right, go for it. This is what it looks like. Dog leg left. He's got two iron, he got scared of it again. I'm probably hitting driver because I don't really care. I'm feeling oh, great. he's got driver. He's got driver, folks. Oh, he did it. Is that OB? Did he hit this OB right, folks? That would not be good. I don't think it's as far as I thought it was to that turn because I hit that really, really, I hit that way, way hard. And I hit it exactly where I was aiming. It probably is in play and you're overreacting, but we're going to have you at a provision. Gary going with three wood. Oh no, it drew too much. Guys, that hit a tree and it's down in that in the woods. So I'm gonna be hitting a provisional. Oh. And he better hope he's in play because that is left of mine. But if he's in play. He's got a really solid chance of winning this match. Tig got extremely lucky. I, I swear, I knew something happened. It was headed at the fence, it bounced off the fence, and now he has 50 yards in the fairway. That's all right, sometimes you gotta have a lucky break to win. It's okay. All right guys, we've made it to Garrett's ball, and this is what he's looking at. The green is right up there just past that bunker, and he is gonna be punching this out. Unfortunately, you saw Garrett's bounce off of that tree, and this is what he's looking at for his third shot. Guys, he actually drew that a little bit. He has a par putt. That's why you can't believe what your opponent's saying. You just gotta play your own ball. It's very easy to like focus on what's happening with your opponent and stuff. I feel like the best golfers don't do that and they don't let that get in their head. And that's really what I just should have done on that tee box. I should have just thought about, let's hit a tee shot as if I'm not even playing anybody. Let's hit one in the fairway.
and he's given me a chance. Hopefully I can make that for par and still have a chance to send it to a playoff hole. Crazier things have happened. You can't lose hope, guys. Dang, that is just so unfortunate though. Guys, this is probably one of the most dramatic endings that we've had to a match. Like Garrett said, it's not over. It really is not over until the last putts have been holed. So this has just been intense. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Garrett has this putt to make par and this would put a lot of pressure on my putt. Guys, he could not have hit a better putt. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was a good putt. Tough. I definitely choked, bogeyed the last two holes, but it happens, guys. The point system will most likely be at 16 to 10, but once again, crazier things have happened. Let's see what he does here. Oh my gosh. And he is, wow, 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 oh imagine if this goes to a playoff hole because of that putt what the fact that he's even giving me a glimmer of hope this is no gimme will this be the first playoff hole in the gm golf sunday matches as you can tell really good you never know guys you never know Oh my, he cashes it. Wow. Good match. That was intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After a crazy series of events, him getting lucky off this tee, hitting that fence, bouncing into the fairway, and me hitting it straight left, it was an intense match to say the least. Hopefully you guys did enjoy Sunday match number 26. I'm just going to go ahead and say it by far, that was the most intense match we've had by a mile. There's no other match that compares to that one. Like, the way that we went back and forth, the putts that we made on a couple of those holes was just like... It was just intense, and I think that's what they're here for. That's like, crazy, yeah. I'm glad I beat you today. Yeah. yeah. You got pretty lucky on the last hole. That's pretty crazy. You know what? I did, but at the same time, like, golf is sometimes luck. It is. And you played well. You played well. We had a crazy match. It was up and down, to say the least. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to stay tuned until next Sunday. I'm now down six matches again. Out of the last six matches, I've won four of them. So it's going to be playing a lot better. Hopefully, I can keep dialing it in, keep the positive mentality going into the next match because I'm hitting it well. I'm excited. I just kind of choked under pressure as per usual. I know everyone in the comments is like, dang, he choked again. But it's all right. The fact that he almost made par was pretty nice. Oh, was it, dude? Really? Was it? I mean, yeah. Thanks. I think everybody could say that. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Peace.